בעזרת השם, tonight we're going to be counting גבורה שבתפארת, the 16th day of the Omer. גבורה, we spoke about the entire week, last week, גבורה, that גבורה is strength. Today we're going to look at a little bit of a different approach about גבורה. That גבורה is also uh, the פנימיות, the internal part of גבורה is called fear, יראה. גבורה שבתפארת, תפארת, we spoke about it already, תפארת is beauty. The combination of גבורה שבתפארת is the beauty that uh, arouses the fear. When we're looking at something great, then it arouses in us awe for the beauty in it. And when we're looking at something great, it also arouses in us fear. Now, last week we were talking about Gvura, that Gvura is strength. But there are many ways of interpreting Gvura. In the Kabbalistic term, the Pnimiyut of Gvura, the internal part of Gvura, is not strength, rather fear. Now, fear is uh, not always necessarily something negative. Sometimes we see, you know, the, we, we, we see the word fear, it's not necessarily something bad. Now, in Yir'ah, when you explain it in Hebrew, then we use the word Nora. Now, Nora in Hebrew can be interpreted in many different ways. Nora can be explained in Hebrew as very much. And Nora can also be explained in Hebrew as something terrible, something that is bad. On the other hand, Nora in Hebrew can also be explained and interpreted as something that is called terrific, amazing. And on the other side, Nora can be fearful. So where do we see the word Nora? We see it in many times when it comes to the word Yira. It's equivalent to the, same, to the word Yira. We see, for example, it says in the book of Tehilim that we have to serve Hashem in fear. If do it Hashem be'ira, serve Hashem with fear. And what does it mean? That David HaMelech is telling us that I have to be afraid of Hashem. No, rather he says that we have to serve Hashem with fear. And we're going to explain in a minute what, what's this type of fear. The verse continues in Tehilim by saying that we should also rejoice uh, with quacking. The gilu birada that I have to serve Hashem with fear, but I also have to rejoice in, uh, uh, in the service of Hashem, also in another way, which is called quacking. But nevertheless, quaking. quacking, quaking. Yeah. Quaking. yeah, yeah, shaking, yeah. not quacking like Donald Duck. Yeah. <laughs> quaking, Donald. Sh uh, shaking. But nevertheless, when we want to focus on the, the internal part of Gvura, the Pnimiyut, Sfirat HaGvura, is called Yira'ah, which is fear. I know it uh, might be a little bit confusing, because last week, the entire week, we said that Yira'ah is strength. Now we're going to focus on another way of looking of, of uh, Gvura, and we're going to look at the internal part, which is the fear. And when we have the combination of Gvura Shebatiferet, fear in beauty, is that Sometimes beauty can arouse in me unbelievable fear. When you're looking at something very, very great, where do you see that something that is great that will arouse in me fear? I don't know if you've ever been on a ship, on a boat, and then you get stuck in a storm. That's in one way, it's unbelievable beauty to see the, the, this power of the nature, but it's also extremely scary when you see these massive waves and you're saying, I don't know if I can even survive this type of a storm. So sometimes you can stand, uh, I don't know, uh, each one needs to use their own imagination. When I was a little bit younger and I was uh, testing the limits um, of creation, then I would do all sorts of weird things. So I did bungee jumping. You have a moment of fear there when you're looking down and you're seeing there's no uh, bottom. They did skydiving, when the first few moments that you're flying, you're like, wait a minute, what if the, this uh, parachute is not going to open? And uh, when you see everything from above, or many other things. And uh, many times you can look at something so beautiful, from far away it might look like beauty, from close by it might be very scary. 
I told you I used to push limits. So one time I used to, uh, I used to travel in the Far East, and one time I reached to Australia, and we, used, we went to swim there with sharks. So the theory, it sounds very nice. And when you see the shark from far away, it's also very nice. When the shark is next to you, that's uh, when you suddenly say, wait a minute, I think I made me, made me made a mistake in this uh, part of the tour. But nevertheless, there are many times that you're looking at a, a, a great valley, you're looking at something unbelievable and it arouses in you in this awe. But nevertheless, at the same time, something as great can also arouse in you fear. And again, this is not necessarily fear that I'm afraid, but arouses what's called yirat haromimut, fear from something that is supreme to me. And in situations like this, you might not be afraid the whole time, but you do experience a moment of, of fear. You are awed by what you're seeing. But nevertheless, there is this moment of fear. Wait a minute, maybe it's not so stable like I think. But nevertheless, we are looking here at something that is called Yirat Oromimut. Yirat Oromimut is fear from something that is so greater than me that when I understand that I am a nothing compared to the infinite uh, the, uh, uh, Hashem of Ensof. In front, if I'm in front of another person, this is not a way to compare. But when you get, get to a short moment in your life, hopefully you get a lot of them, where you understand, wait a minute, I'm literally a dot in front of Ensof, of the infinite powers of Hashem. I'm a nothing. Where am I compared to this entire creation? So, and you want to reach to these moments in your life. You want to look at the creation. Creation is called in Hebrew, Bri'ah. If you're looking at the letters Bria, it's the exact same letters Beira. Bria is creation. Beira is in fear. Exact same letters in a different order. You want to get to a point that you're looking at creation and you reach to a level of fear that you understand that you are a, you are a nothing. That you are really a dot in this universe and this is nothing compared to the greatness of Kadosh Baruch Hu. Now, I want to reach to a point that a certain beauty is revealed to me that arouses in me fear of God, Yirat Shamayim. Now, I'm not now recommending to go bungee jumping or uh, go to swimming with sharks, but you want to get to a point that you can recognize beauty in creation, but in such a way that it arouses in you fear from the Kadosh Baruch And not fear that I'm afraid that Hashem is going to beat me up, Rather fear this yirat aromemut, this greatness that I understand that I am a nothing compared to the Kadosh Baruch Why? Because then it brings me to a point of complete humility. That I understand that I, am, I have zero power in this world. I'm literally a leaf in the wind with zero control. And the point to bring here is that I will have fear from the Kadosh Baruch Hu, And again, I'm repeating myself, not that I'm afraid of the Kadosh Baruch Hu, that he's going to beat me up. That I have this unbelievable awe in front of Hashem, that I'm so parallel, I'm so par paralyzed compared to the Kadosh Baruch Hu that makes me realize the greatness of the Kadosh Baruch Hu. Now, practically, when we want to apply something practical to apply that, then try to look around you all the time and to see where you can see something so beautiful that you can be amazed and awed by it can be something small, can be something big. And again, I'm not now supporting now going on uh, treks in uh, the Far East. I'm just saying that you want to, when you want to apply that, sometimes you need to meditate on the greatness of, of the Kadosh Baruch Hu. There's many different types of Jewish meditations. One of them is called Hitbonenut. Is when I look at something and I meditate on the depth of it, here in Tzfat, it's very simple. Just look at the mountains around you. You see this massive size creation when one can say, Marabu ma'asech Hashem. Hashem, what you did is this just wonders. And you want to bring yourself to a point that you see the greatness in Hashem in everything, this beauty, because when you see how great Hashem here, and how Hashem is running the world, you see the beauty of everything. How it's all precise, how it's all accurate, how it's all with, done with chesed, with love. This is the beauty in creation. But you want to bring this beauty to arouse this awe, this fear of the Kadosh Baruch Hu. And this is exactly the combination of Gvura Shebatiferet 
is to be able to take the beauty in everything, to let it arouse in me unbelievable awe and fear of the Kadosh Baruch that will allow me to refine myself to a point that I become more and more humble in front of the Kadosh Baruch when I understand that I'm really a nothing compared to the Kadosh Baruch